Pokemon Sword is rated E for everyone by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sword Blind. In, of course I'm facing the wrong way. In the last episode, as you guys have probably saw, we went for a little journey back through the wild area and we dealt with 35 Pokemon catches. We also did the opening ceremony and met the gym leaders. And we started making our way down Route 3 on our way to Turf Field where our first gym battle awaits. I was able to make it a little farther than what was planned, but now it's time to continue. Oh, <laughs> and we're already getting started. Every Pokemon's got a type or two, and every type has strong points and weak ones. You're challenged by schoolboy Peter. Sizzlepeed. Am I using... Yes, I am using my correct teammate. Okay, so he's using Sizzlepeed. We are going to bring out Aracuda. And he's using Bite, which is a dark move, which is fine. Aracuda can use Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet has a priority ability, so it will always go first. Wrap. I think this also prevents me from switching. So let's do Aqua Jet again and get rid of this sizzle key. Ba bam. Sizzle pee pinches. Excellent. Dotler. Dotler is a bug psychic. So Flanora would be the best. Maybe not because I think bug is super effective. But with its psychic, at least my beat up will be super effective. My goodness. Okay. Struggle bug. Yikes. Well, let's do beat up again. Because it looks like it increases exponentially. Perfect. And we defeated schoolboy Peter. I'm weak to people older than me. Okay. I also just recalled that I don't have my other party member. So I was going to add Applin to my team, but Applin only gets to learn those two abilities, Astonish and Withdrawal. Applin is still going to be part of my team, but I'm going to wait just a little bit longer before I start bringing him in. Because his evolution in my game, which I know about because I knew I was going to add Applin, is going to be one that actually is quite useful to me. So for now, I'm going to keep him out, but know that Applin will be joining my party. So we're going to move him to my team. And I am going to remove both Aracuda and Jamper, so right now my team is going to consist of Sizzlepeed, Flamnora, and Groot. So let me grab these two, bring them to my evolution section, because that is my team. 
Maybe I should bring out Applin just so that he gets the level ups. So after some decision making, I've decided, yes, I am going to bring Applin out, but he's not going to be a party member. I just don't want him falling behind in levels to the rest of my team as I progress. So he is in my party, but he's not going to battle. So right now I do have my three main Pokemon and I do have others on the way. Roly Coley. I should actually keep Aracuda. Eight minutes in and I haven't even made any progress. You miss lady. Hi, me and my little sister have set ourselves up as pop-up Pokemon Center services. Not that we asked any not that we asked anyone if we could or should. Galar mine is pretty rough on a team, isn't it? I'll heal up your Pokemon for you, my friend. Oh, that's super nice. Okay. One more time. Bringing Aracuda just up to the front. So, going in, I have no idea what I'm facing. Ooh. Woobat Timber. Already with the super impressive Pokemon in this mine. For those of you who don't know, Swoobat, not Swoobat, Woobat is a flying psychic type. So he does make a good addition to a team because of his uh, usefulness against ghost type, but he is a bit weaker to bug type being neutral because of the flying psychic attribution. There are several uses that Wubat could have on a regular team. And while we're at it, let's get Timber, who was Generation 5's redo, redux of the Machop. Let's catch him too. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Okay, so we got Timber and we got Woobat. So Nora is almost level 17. I think she evolves at level 18. To the box. Okay. There are various roly colies that will be found in the wild here in the mine. Which makes sense. This is roly colies habitat. A revive and a miner. My work partner and I are in perfect sick, even in battle. Well, Keith, you should know that I've been sponsored by the champion. So I am in perfect sync with my Pokemon. Aqua Jet against his Rog and Rolla will be super effective. Weak armor. Decreases defense, but increases speed. Because of the rock typing inside this cave, I'm pretty sure Grookey will be okay to have out front as well. Hold on. Sorry about that guys, I am a little bit sick. Just with a slight cough. So if you hear me go really quiet, I may be coughing or oh, and like muted that. Okay. Looks like we weren't in sync. 
You can be in sync and still lose. Let's see what's up here that Keith was blocking. Hello. Rock Blast. That could come in use because Rock Blast is a 2 to 5 hit move with the rock typing. That would be good for flying types. And bug types. And flying bug types. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Ooh, oh geez. That lady is gonna spot me. Let's bring out Groot. In order to do good work, I can't slack off on training. That is very good words to live by, Georgia. Is it Georgia or is it Georgia? He brought out a fighting, which is not what I was expecting. So let's branch poke him. Poke. Low kick. Fortunately, you're not super effective. Branch poke again. And your accuracy is awful. Ha ha ha. Branch poke again. So Flanora must evolve at level 18. About to send out Timber again. Actually, let's send out Wubat. Wubat's not an official team member, but he does have Psychic or Confusion, which is a Psychic move that would be effective against these fighting types. Flying is also effective against um, fighting types, but Confusion has the chance of doing this. But it never works for the player. Meanwhile, if you, the player, are confused, you always hit all five turns. Hurt yourself, not hurt the other Pokemon. And there we go. Another defeat. Why do you have three timbers? I'm just super confused by that. Confusion! Ra Ooh. Well, since you think you're so funny with a rock throw, using Gust will be tremendous. Ha ha ha. Okay. Wubat leveled up. You made some you made for some good training. I'm super glad that she is not heartbroken by this. Ooh, another attack. Scary face, it's not really an attack. Harshly lowers the speed stat. So it decreases the speed stat by two stages, I believe. A bag of stardust. Okay, let's continue down the road. No new Pokemon there. Maybe I'll get lucky and you have... I completely skipped over your text. I'm sorry, Sandra. Diglett. Oh good, a ground type. This is in Groot's, uh, Groot's benefit. Okay, Groot. Poke him with your sticks. Ha ha ha. Drillbur is a ground type as well, so we're gonna stick with Groot. 
Okay, Groot. Razor Leaf this time. Gotta balance my attack. And that's defeated. Excellent, Groot leveled up too. Wants to learn Screech, we're just gonna keep old moves. Sizzlepeed. Okay. Lots of woo bats here. Roly Coley and Diglett. I think that's a cart coal. I know what cart coal is because Roly Coley evolves into one at level 18. Heavy boots prevents the effects of traps set on the battlefield. Oh. I was looking around for items, but I found a trainer. Why are you looking for items? You should be working. Russell. This is dangerous. Fighting against a fire type. But he's primarily a rock type fast. Excellent, so, Aracuda is almost at level 14. If only I used an item effectively when I was in a pinch. If I talk to you again, will you give me an item? <clears throat> Use items you pick up. They're like a gift from someone. Okay. Revive. Ooh. Sorry, Diglett, I did not mean to walk into you. But while I'm here, <clears throat> while I'm here, we're gonna just raise the you. Kaboom. So I guess if you wanted, you could wait and catch a Diglett here instead of in the wild area, because this Diglett is gonna be a higher level than the one in the wild area. Let's see. Two super potions. Ooh, sassy lady. Hi there, girl. Coming this way, I'd advise against it. Any, tra <clears throat> Any trainer with a wishing star is in for a beating from me and my Pokemon. Well, since he'd advised, what do I want to do? Let's go with Sizzlepede. Because I doubt Sassy Lady here is gonna be a fire trainer. You! You're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. You are aware that the chairman is more important than the champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. I suppose I should prove beyond doubt just how pathetic you are and how strong I am. Well, you are challenged by Pokemon Trainer BD. Gosh, sexy lady, look at those eyelashes. Solosis. Well, I will go with. 40, 60... Let's go with Bite. The Solosis is Psychic, and Bite is Dark. I'm just giving your Pokemon a little chance to shine, after all. Confusion. Yikes. Sizzlepeed does not have special defense, does he? I'll have to look into that. <clears throat> BD is about to send Gothita. We'll stick with Sizzle P for now. Let's 
super effective. Psy Beam, I think that's stronger than Confusion. Twenty. We'll do a super potion. Let's attempt to bite. Hopefully, we fight through this confusion, which we do. Thank goodness. Okay, sassy lady. Base defeat. Hatena. Hatena. If I remember correctly, this is the Pokemon that I want added to my team. I don't trust that Sizzlepeed will survive it. If this is the Pokemon that I've heard so much about. I think it is. BD sent out Hatchina. Yes, this is the Pokemon I'm going to be adding to my team later. Grand Poke. Pokey Pokey. Confusion. I'm glad I switched. Grand Poke again. Defeated. Well, sassy lady. You have lost. And Wubat leveled up. Air Cutter. Air Cutter is stronger than Gust, so let's swap that. One, two, and ta-da! Wubat forgot Gust and learned Air Cutter. We defeated Beedy. I see. Well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying all that hard anyway. Gosh, she is full of sass. Well, that was unexpected. I suppose you're more able than I thought. Naturally, I remember your battle style and strategies now. I'm sure to easily defeat you if and when we face each other in an official match. Now that we've established that, I won't waste any more time on you. I've already gathered every wishing star in this area. Why are you looking for wishing stars? What is... What is Sassy Lady trying to do? Bag of Stardust. I mean, she is endorsed by evil chairman. Let's be honest, every chairman is evil. This has just confirmed it. Hello? You must be the sister. Hiya, me and my big sister have set up set ourselves up as a pop-up Pokemon Center service. Not that we asked anyone if we could or should. You've done a good job making it this far. I'll heal your team up. Once you get through Gallon Mine, you're out on Route 4 and nearly to Turf Field. You're almost there, Gym Challenger. Indeed we are. We can see the gym from here. But we're gonna deal with that in the next episode, guys. So thank you so much Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash that like button and subscribe if you have not. I, again, you're facing the wrong way. And subscribe if you have not for more Pokemon Sword Blind content. You can keep watching this video to see any new Pokemon that I catch from the wild area based on the current weather conditions or from the Galar Mines that I have missed. I'm not going to catch any Pokemon here on Route 4 because we haven't even explored Route 4. We don't even know what's here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the montage, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!